Hello everyone and welcome to TSAM Digital. I'm Ana Luisa and today we will be examining the widespread adoption of a new disruptive approach known as Data as a Service with Brent Knapp, the Head of Data Management at SimCorp. Hi Brent, welcome. Hi Anna, thanks for having me. Thank you. Uh, Brent, now more than ever, being agile enough to adapt and seize new opportunities is key to success for a lot of buy side firms. Um, so I was wondering, from your client conversations, um, what do you see as the key challenges in your client's data management setup today? Uh, I think there are any number of challenges if you look at the, the legacy model of uh, an enterprise data management system. I think primarily where I see clients looking to make change the quickest would be in the ability to scale. So the ability to add new instrument types, new vendor feeds, new data domains, and the ability to find people who know how to manage those new domains. So as things evolve, they're changing very quickly and organizations are constantly trying to keep up with that evolution by uh, you know, adding people or adding hardware. And in many cases, it's about, you know, better processes and, you know, more effective technology, which is why I think we see so many people starting to adopt data as a service. Why should we look at more holistic approaches, such as data as a service, to manage market and reference data? I think the real, you know, the easiest answer and the real reason that we have people that are interested in, in moving in this direction is that uh, it gives them the ability to focus on results, uh, to be much more proactive with their data. Uh, our clients are now thinking more about who's consuming their data, why are they consuming it, are there better sources for them to use, rather than having people combing through data looking for errors or omissions or exceptions. Uh, in this case, it's allowing the teams to uh, really add more value to the organization. And what we're able to do is remove a lot of the noise for those organizations by taking you know, the process and the technology and using something at scale that can be applied across many clients and then letting clients differentiate on their own how that data is being used and consumed. And when speaking to buy-side firms about transitioning to a managed data service, what are some of the key barriers to adoption that you typically hear? I think the, the barrier that I probably hear most often or that is most common would be the idea that if you're using an enterprise data service, you're losing control of your data. Uh, I would actually argue that in many cases, you're getting more control of your data. And the reason for that is we provide very granular reporting uh, we have management dashboards, we have service level dashboards, and those dashboards can allow you to drill down directly into the issues, see how they've been resolved, see if there's any commonality between issues that are coming up. Is it a particular issue type or geography or vendor? I think what people are looking to do is be able to get at the data in a lot of different ways, and we allow them to do that. So from my point of view, you're actually getting really great transparency and complete control of your data, even though you're allowing someone to handle some of the process. And Brent, what advice would you give to organizations who are thinking about adopting data as a service for market and reference data management? I think the, the first thing that I would say to anyone is think about where you might be in two to three years versus where you were even two to three years ago, how quickly these data domains are changing, how much uh, the street is demanding more transparency, more information. And think about the work efforts that it takes for you to onboard those new sources or bring in the people that have the subject matter expertise to be able to add the value around those data sets. Uh, I think when you start to look at what that can look like and what it's looked like over the last couple of years, you will quickly realize that there's a lot of value to partnering with someone like SimCorp uh, that offers a fully managed service. And the reason for that is, you know, becoming more and more clear every day in that we can provide pieces that supplement your organization that don't necessarily add tremendous value to your bottom line, but are necessary. And for that reason, you know, employing someone who can do this at scale uh, is becoming more and more popular. Uh, it's much more of a uh, 
a configuration than a customization these days, which uh, drastically differs from what historical platforms and technology allowed us to do. So you'll still get your results under your requirements, but at the same time, not have to worry about hardware and software and uh, ensuring that all of those things are constantly updated and keeping up with the demands of your organization.